What's going on everybody? XXI Chris here. It's been a while since my last video, but today I bring you the RK89 mechanical gaming keyboard. So here we have it, Royal Clutch, nice orange and black box here. It's a red switch, links will be in the description. This is the back of the box and well, let's just open this up. All right, so now we're on my desk, a uh, very different camera angle approach. This is the first time I'm doing this, I believe. Uh, and if you see some cat hair around here, I'm very sorry, I do have a hairy cat. All right, so here we have RK Game Keyboard, RK Gaming. We have Royal Clutch here, uh, just RK89 Tri-Modes Red Switch. There's a little close-up for you. And again, Royal Clutch, and that's it. So let's open this up. Okay. Let's open this portion of the box first. So here we have some extra red switches with a, looks like a keycap puller and a switch puller. Okay. Going further into the box, we have a USB-A to USB-C. I won't be using this cable because I actually have two USB-C cables uh, ran because I use two different keyboards for my dual PC setup. So that's it for the box. Now, lastly is the keyboard. Okay, it has a nice weight to it. Let's put this to the side. All right, now let's uh, just take the keyboard out. Nice, look at that. It's a nice white 89 key keyboard. And this is how it would look on your desk. So this is the back of the keyboard. We have RK89, you have four rubber feet and then your kickstand, which is also uh, rubber. But then you also have a mini kickstand as well if you don't want to, if you don't want to use the big one. Like so, you have the big one and the little one. And then you have a USB dongle in case you wanted to use it in wireless mode. You have on and off switch, and then there's a B and a G here. I'm not sure what the B and G stands for, but it's there. So this is the keyboard. Let's power it on and let's see what it looks like. Plugging it up for the first time. Also forgot to mention, sorry, you have a USB-C connection here and then two USB-A's. So let's plug this up. Beautiful, you have a nice cool ice blue to complement the white keyboard. Now I don't believe this keyboard came with a manual, but the backlight for this keyboard is just ice blue. And this is what it looks like. So here you have your number pad. Uh, if you press FN and then number lock, the light indicator comes on and off, uh, caps lock. And then there's a little lock symbol. I wonder what that's for. So after playing around with the keyboard, I found out that there's different uh, backlight settings. So if you press FN and then this little backslash key, there's also a little symbol here. It changes the backlight mode. So let's try that out. And I also forgot to mention that you can speed it up or make it slow. So I think that's at its max speed and then we can slow it down. Yeah, very slow. And then you can bring down the brightness. Cool. All right, everybody, we're gonna go in and do a little ASMR typing test.
Alrighty guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. I really do appreciate you guys for watching. If you guys stick to the end, please comment down below. Ice blue. Alrighty guys, if you haven't already, please drop a follow to my Instagram and Twitter. Links will be in the description and they'll also appear here on screen. I appreciate you guys sticking to the end and I'll see you guys in my next video, y'all. Peace.